How's it going everyone and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Mike Stein. And on today's video, I thought I'd like to talk to you all about a 2021 horror drama anthology TV series that was released by Amazon Studios. It, and it was a part of the streaming service Amazon Prime. And this is an Amazon original TV series that really just flew under the radar. I heard nothing about it. My brother told me about this series and this series is soon to be releasing a season two this year and that TV series is Them Created by Little Marvin. Now this is an amazing show. I do not know how more people don't know about this show. It's a really really just well-made TV series similar to that of the style of Get Out and uh, Us, created by uh, Jordan Peele. It's got that same sort of vibe, that same sort of feel, but yeah, it is a 10 episode TV series, season one, and each episode goes for about 33 to 35 minutes. It does hold a solid 59% on Rotten Tomatoes with an audience rating of 66%. But also, Sony Pictures had their hands to play in this, and they did a really good job uh, distributing this along with Amazon. And uh, yeah, overall, I give this show a 9 out of 10 rating. It was well made. The editing, as a professional film editor myself, I really appreciate the film editing in this. And it's like for film editing, for me, gets a 10 out of 10. I really love the film editing. But yeah, the show as a whole gets a 9 out of 10, of course. But um, really, really good. And even one of the episodes was directed by Ty West, who did Pearl and X. Uh, yeah, but um, a whole bunch of directors did different episodes. But Ty West, uh, the, uh, the iconic uh, horror director, filmmaker, writer, did uh, one of the episodes. Really, really amazing. Uh, it is non-linear, goes back and forwards, but yeah. The show uh, stars a predominantly African-American family, the Emery family. You weren't even a Livia, played by Deborah Aorindi. Henry, played by Ashley Thomas. Shahadi Joseph Wright, who plays Ruby Lee. And Melody Hurd, who plays Gracie Emery. And the first episode opens up I do. with the mother, Livia. She's living, I think it's somewhere in North Carolina. And this is the start of the first episode. And she's by herself in a house in North Carolina, somewhere in the country, I think. And uh, she's got a, a little baby boy and she's just doing her housework while her husband played by Ashley, Tom, um, Ashley Thomas, his name is Henry, he's out at work and uh, one day she hears this Caucasian older lady at the front of her house singing, comes to the front of the house, they get into a, uh, some sort of a weird altercation where this random older Caucasian lady wants to take the kid from her and says, can I take your baby from you Go. and Go. she's a very racist passive aggressive person and she starts here. singing this song with very just racist lyrics racist words and anyways from there it shows because this is set before like it, it's it's a, it's non-linear like it shows before what happens and then it shows her with her her family she you know you don't really see what happens to the baby but then you see her with her two daughters later in the car they move from this uh home they're moving to compton in la and um she's there with her two younger daughters she's in the passenger seat and her husband's driving henry ashley thomas and they're moving from the country in north carolina 
and um, yeah, they're starting a new life, and it's set in 1953, and I guess that first scene doesn't really specify what year it was. And anyway, so this family moved to this white neighborhood, and uh, they're thinking that this is going to be a brand new great start because they want to leave their past behind them after losing the, the baby boy that they had. You don't see what happens to it till later um, in the series. So then from there, they settle in into this Compton neighborhood, which is all white. There are no African American families in this neighborhood, and everyone seems kind of friendly, but they're very passive about it, and then slowly, slowly, uh, they start to play these mind games with, the, the neighbours start to play mind games with this, uh, the Emery family, and they don't want them living there because they're a bunch of racists, a bunch of white racist people, and they start to taunt them and do crazy things and uh, start to harass them, and as you see each episode go on, they do crazy and crazier things like put all these black dolls hanging from their uh, front porch and... It shows uh, Shahadi Wright, Joseph's character, Ruby Lee at school. They're all white kids and she's the only African-American kid at school. And then it shows uh, Melody Hurd's character, uh, uh, yeah, Gracie, Gracie Emery. The Republic. The Republic for which it stands. It's okay. The Republic for which it stands. <laughs> Anyways. It's also got aspects of just horror, like in the later episodes you see there's this figure, this African American man who's painted his face black, kind of looks like, the, it's a racist character, I don't really know the specific or the, the right name for it, but yeah, uh, it starts to appear to the father, Henry's character, and they start to see things that aren't there, hear things that aren't there, uh, like these weird, like these ghosts in the house, and it's it's well made, it's it's different, and it's just very hard to explain. But anyways, as you see progressively as the episodes go on, it starts to get crazier and crazier, and the people in the neighborhood start to get just more violent and more violent, and you know to the point where it's survival of the fittest, where it's the Emery family versus every every white person in this neighborhood in Compton um, but yeah it's a really great show well made and I love the horror aspects to it I love the dra dramatic aspects to it I love that it's uh, you know it's different it's different and I love the subject matter because I think racism especially for myself growing up in Australia as a Greek Australian I've had it hard myself you know and the African Americans in America uh, have had it very hard and I don't know what they've gone through but I can only tell you what I've gone through and it's definitely a subject that I think it's getting more and more um, open and out into the open and I think it's uh, it, it's good that they're, they're making more of these series because um, yeah it, it's definitely you know like African American people uh, have their own spin on things, Caucasians do, Europeans do, everyone does, but you don't get, you didn't get to see that in the past because everyone was so segregated and different and uh, yeah, now you're seeing more and more of it and I'm very happy to uh, yeah, say these things. So anyways, that's about it for this video everyone, I'm going to wrap it up here because I've been rambling on long enough by saying thank you all for watching, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, if you've seen this show or well, you have any questions about this show, leave a comment in the comment section down below because I'd really love to hear all of your thoughts out there in uh, the real world. But um, yeah, also, if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe to this channel. This is the best channel on the internet. Forget those other fools that do movie reviews. I am the best. This is the best. Forget about it. This is the only channel you need to be seeing. And uh, yeah, but also if you haven't subscribed, you're gonna be missing out on a whole bunch of cool shit that I'll be uploading in the future because my birthday's coming up in a couple of weeks and I'll be getting a whole bunch of stuff from my brother, stuff that um, I'm going to be ordering and you don't wanna miss out for when those videos drop.
So you want to get notified. So subscribe to this channel. But if you have subscribed, thank you for supporting this channel. I really mean it. You know, and I love the feedback that everyone's been giving me. Uh, even though it's very few people, I don't do this for the views, the subscribers. I do this because I enjoy it. And even without YouTube, I was a movie collector way before the internet and everything else. Going back to VHS days, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, without further ado, again, I'd just like to say thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all next time, folks. What's my gap? See ya! Motherfuckers take dirt naps. I'm all that and a dime sack. Where the paper at? When he's sticking you and taking all your money. Give me the loot, give me the loot. I'm a bad Give me the loot, give me the loot. I'm a bad Give me the loot, give me the loot. I'm a bad Give me the loot, give me the loot. Give me the loot, give me the loot. I'm a bad Give me the loot, give me the loot. I'm a bad Give me the loot, give me the loot. I'm a bad Give me the loot, give me the loot. Big up, big up, it's a stick up, stick up. And I'm shooting niggas quick if you hiccup. Don't let me fill my clip up in your back and headpiece. The opposite of peace. Sending mom Duke a reef. You're talking to the robbery expert. Step into your wake with your blood or my shirt. Don't be a jerk and get smoked over being resistant. Cause when I lick shots, the shit is persistent.